what we have here? We have uh, Paul Joseph Watson about popular music. We got Bernard Chapin on Sargon. We got the community, the video game community by Infinite Virtro. We got uh, UN wants to ban, wants Japan to ban games by Proto Mario. Yeah, Sargon here with the progressive stack. You got the Ghostbusters thing by Skepter. Yeah, that was last week. Okay, here we go. And again, you know, there's no particular order in chronology. Mylanopolis asked White House Press Secretary Josh who? Josh Irani. Irain. And this is by Miley Anopoulos. This is about the freedom of speech. We got The Most Shameful Injustice by Truth Reveals. Uh, that's a good one. I very much like that. Hate Speech on Campus by The Naked Ape. And of course, yeah, he's talking about Milo uh, having to be... having issues with speaking freely on any campus. This is getting it, you know, and strangely enough, we got a similar problem right here with Trump. For some strange reason, these guys won't be allowed to talk. Odd. You can either choose to listen or you can choose to ignore. You can choose to vote or you can choose to vote for or against or not vote at all. You can choose to endorse or not to. You have the choice. I don't understand what these protests are about. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, what else we got here? We got Mr. Medicare. Did the Washington Post lie about the Michelle Fields incident? <laughs> and that's a pretty good piece. I highly recommend that. And of course, we got the Ralph Retort, who was a huge Trump fan. Um, this this is what it, what has to be talked about. Protests at a Trump rally in Chicago. I, I just I can't imagine this, folks. It seems the leftists can't allow any of the opposition to speak at all. Any opposing idea, any opposing opinion. I find this to be kind of interesting. As in, um, what, this, this can't be, this can't be my, this can't be my fellow countrymen. This can't be real. This has got to be some sci-fi nonsense, right? You know, any minute now, somebody's going to pinch me and I'm going to wake up from a dream, right? Eh, wrong answer. It's the same nonsense that Milo's putting up with. The same exact BS. Opposing opinions, opposing ideas will not be accepted. Guys, this is not democracy. The dude is just there to speak. This isn't, this isn't some trial. This isn't some... Um, some business deal that's going be behind anybody's backs or anything like that. This is just straight up a dude talking and telling folks what he's about. And what he would like to do if he were in charge. It's a job interview. And people are protesting. They can't even hear him out. They can't even hear him speak. This is not good. This is not cool. This is bogus. This is nonsense. Everybody should be allowed to be speaking freely. It's what people bled for for many, many, many years. For 200 years. 200 plus years. We, people have been bleeding for your right to speak freely. And now, some other folks decided, oh, well, we're just going to screw, screw up this, this nice little get-together, this little event. This is just... Unbelievable, right here. I, I, yeah. This is actually forcing my, yeah. I, I'm. I was very undecided. I was very undecided before this. Wow. I'm definitely. I, I'm. Looks like I'm voting for Trump. This is nuts. I liked it previously when last week I was kind of uh, undecided between Trump and Cruz, but this, holy shit. No offense to all you uh, uh, Rubio fans. No offense to you guys, but he, the homeboy does, just dodges too many questions. I like I like the way he dodges questions. I really do. 
uh, like that one, like that one question that they asked, uh, how would you handle the Guantanamo Bay uh, uh, situation, and and would you allow waterboarding and all that? Or and he's like, well, first off, I wouldn't tell people what I would allow or what I wouldn't allow because I don't want our terrorists to train to resist it. That was a great dodge. I love that about Rubio, but unfortunately, uh, he do, he every time um, every time a when it, whenever Trump's on stage, he dogs Trump. Whenever Trump's not on stage, he dogs the other top dog, which would be Cruz. You know that that's all he does. So he's pretty much it shown me. Okay, he knows he's not top dog, and he knows that instead of standing on his own words, he has to attack his opponent. I don't mind a little bit of that, but you got that plus he dodges too many questions. I'm sorry, I can't go for him. Normally, I don't talk about politics, folks. I, I hate talking about politics, and I know that sounds strange because nothing on my show, whenever I do a serious episode, it's almost always about politics. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the, the voting nonsense, I try, I try to leave that out the door. I, I want people to make their own decisions. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this, this latest incident, holy hell. I... I I had no I, I I didn't know that this could happen for for this kind of non for this kind of event. You know what I mean? Like even what even what's his nuts? Uh back in 2012, no, you didn't you didn't hear anybody protesting the Republican folks, or at least I don't remember that. Now, maybe I was too busy doing other things. I, I just, to me, that's just, this is just nuts. But anyway, yeah, you're starting to see the media. Maybe they're lying. Maybe they're colluding. Who knows? Mr. Medicare he's right on it. Thank you, sir. And then we got Ralph Retort continuing to talk about Trump, continuing to be a big Trump fan. And I'm actually, I'm full on board with these guys. Because I trust these guys more than I trust, uh, more than I've been trusting the leftists lately, you know? Because, I mean, seriously, you got... You got them protesting a friggin' journalist, which I think is friggin' retarded. And now they're protesting Trump, which is like straight up telling the rest of us that we're not allowed to hear what this guy has to say. We're not allowed to exercise our rights of free speech. We're not allowed to hear the very people that, you know what I mean? Like... This is just this is just nonsense. It makes no sense to me. It's bullshit, and it's got to end. It, it really has. So, as of today, yeah, I'm a huge Trump fan. I, I might just be voting for him. It's a very you know, like 90% sure at this point. <laughs> oh, wow. I just can't imagine it. People protesting, a guy just talking. What the fuck? Anyway, anyway, uh, that that's just going to be it for this week. I was hoping to be talking about some other uh, items. I was hoping to be talking about uh, straight up the bullshit with DLC lately, and uh, you know how if how Minecraft was a huge success, and why don't they just you know since some companies already have modding clouds and things like that, maybe they should build off of that and try to sell that to. You know, maybe the console going, folks. You know what I mean? Give them tools to to create their own mods. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe that maybe that would be the wave of the future because we all saw how the character creator games sell well, the Lego games sell well, Minecraft has been selling well for ten straight years. But of course, you know, I mean, uh, that can't happen. We have to we have to we have to watch another protest here. We have to watch another. We can't have fun on our weekends. Oh hell no! It has to. We ha we have to talk about. We have to talk about serious business here. We have to talk about how the leftists can't hear any opposing information at all. Like they have to silence another one of the folks on 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 the right on the righty side or whatever the hell you want to call it, the more conservative side. You know what I mean? It's just total bullshit. I've had it up to here. There's more. It's supposed to be. The difference between the left and the right is supposed to be, hey, you know, 
they got their way of skinning a cat, we got our way of skinning a cat. You know, they got their way of doing business, we got our way of doing business. And whoever you guys think is the best way to go, you know, please vote. You know, here's what we stand for. But this, they won't even allow this guy to freaking talk. What the hell is this bullshit? Anyway, I've been going on for too long. And, uh, yeah, you know. So hoping to talk about college, but, you know, lately it's going to be, uh, lately it's going to be, uh, everybody is off on a holiday, so I'm going to respect that. And we're going to try and keep everything on a, have some good times kind of shit, so, you know, I saw, I saw a couple of college videos, and a lot of them are just pretentious nonsense, like, oh, my first day in college, oh, ten things that you'll need in college, or ten things you wish you'll have, all nonsense, all bullshit, I was hoping to do a program like that, but, you know, for those of you that are out there, uh, yeah, that's definitely something to tap into, there's better shows to be done on that, like cooking, or better ways to study, better ways to read books, and things like that, and there are a couple channels that actually do cover that for some of the college kids and like what you know what to expect or 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 not expect with roommates or whatever or be wary of roommates nonsense like that you know I was hoping to get into something a little more fun but uh nah after after this weird nonsense came up in Chicago oh my god this this is bad but anyway yeah I might I'm 90% sure I'm going for Trump here this is nuts I mean, it's the only way I can do things responsibly now. I mean, there's still a good chance that that Trump, that uh, that Cruz could pass Trump, but not not likely, in my humble opinion. But you know, that that's just me, and I'm getting older in age. So what do I know? Anyway, this is the Fox Gibson. I have to sign out. Peace.